Welcome to Nibbling with the Neighbors. All right, everybody, it's time for me to take over the kitchen again and bake something right up my alley here. I've got some beer bread. This was something that was given to us by the Presleys at Christmas time. This is Amber Harvest Mills original beer bread baking mix. Comes in a beer bottle and it has a, it comes with its own bottle opener. You guys see something behind me? And the most important ingredient is beer. And what I've got, I've got Montana's finest Moose Drool Brown Ale, which was sent to me by Jess Lucero. Mm, I'm looking forward to this. So here we go. <laughs> yes, she still belongs in the house. She's alive! <laughs> Making a lot of noise in my kitchen. Thank you. Okay, before I can start putting this together, I'm gonna to have to preheat the oven to 375 and I need to grease and flour the pan. So I'll do that real quick and uh, then we'll get the, the batter going. Okay, so a, my pan is uh, greased up and floured up. Now I have to open my beer bread container. Now this ought to be interesting. Instructions say I'm probably going to have to get some sort of utensil to make sure I get all of it out. No. You're probably not supposed to be mixing it in the pan that you're going to be cooking it in. Is that right? I'll try to remember that next time. Are you using a different bowl? Of course I am. Okay. All right, looks like I'm all out. Now here is the best part. There. Once again, I've got Moose Drool Brown Ale from Big Sky Brewery in is that Missoula, Montana. It was sent to us specially by Jess Lucero. And I was holding on to it for this very moment. Pretty good. Can I have a taste? No. Alright. Don't drink it all. I have to make bread. Like I'm going to drink a whole beer. Pretty tasty, isn't it? See you later. Jess, cheers. Very good beer. Okay. I guess I should wash my hands since I'm going to be sticking them in here somehow. Okay, now it says to use a wooden spoon, which we don't own. I got a plastic one. So it just, the instructions at this point says, um, use as much beer as it needs. We'll see how that works out. Oh, foamy. What are you talking about? Yeah, I saw that. This is a good bear. I've never mixed something together that has a head on it. It says don't over mix. I don't quite know what that means. 
Do you know what bread dough should look like when it's done? Because right now it's still just... Powdered. I knew I was going to be part of this nibbling anyway. It needs more than that. Maybe that's why they wanted the Lord and Spoon, I don't know. I would probably just use my hands. All right. That's what I'm going to do. And I even washed my hands, so that's a good thing. Okay. Will you sit still? Jeepers. You're just putting it back on to me. I am not! And the oven just beeped. So it's ready, just in time. And then you stuck this back in. All right. Nibbling with the neighbors, with Kevin. Get out of my kitchen. Bye. Women. Men. Can't live with them. The end. <laughs> you gotta shape it. It just sticks to me. I need flour on it or something. All right. Well, here's the flour. Put some flour on your hand. <laughs> okay. So, that's all ready to go in the oven? Waste not one knot. And how much? How long in the in the oven? Forty-five to fifty minutes. Is that my timer? It's at forty-five. Did you hit the start? Not yet. I haven't put it in yet. Okay. We're off. Yeah. All right, so it should be done. And here it is. The house smells yummy. Yeah, but it doesn't look very good. Well, maybe. Say hi to Dana. Hi. Hold Dana. <laughs> Well, I'll let this cool off a bit while they all just talk away over here. Okay, so your bread came out. It's a little crumbly. It's a little strange. Oh, it looks hot. It is hot. How did it taste? Did you it, taste it? It piece? actually has an interesting taste. It tastes pretty good, but I don't know if, you would, if I would call it bread. It's definitely bread. What would you call it? Uh, crumbly stuff. <laughs> Beer crumbly stuff. Smells interesting. Not bad. Tastes good. Mm-hmm. Throw some butter on it. It'll taste good. Yeah. But it... I give it two thumbs up even though I can't use my other arm to give it a thumbs up right now. So... Well, Two thumbs up for me. There it is. We don't. We didn't know how it was going to turn out in the first place, so mm, it's actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. So what was I supposed to say at the end of this? There you have it. Another episode of Nibbling with the Neighbors.